Hey, good morning. I'm so excited to be with you. It's Jane De La Cruz, Be Fit for Christ, Tummy Testimony 2023. Six months, 500 crunches each and every day. Plus, we're going over 25 scriptures and three psalms. Today, I'll be doing Psalm 23, The Lord is My Shepherd. I think everybody knows that one. And if you don't, please get in the Word and learn it. Well, we are so blessed. You are so blessed. And every day at the end of this, I say a blessing over you from Numbers uh, 6, 24 through 26, where I say, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give you peace. When we think of God's blessings, we often think of the external um, things like good health, successful uh, job, wealth, etc. And yes, God does bless us with gifts from the from this world. Still, we must remember that the things of this world are temporary, and God's blessings go far beyond our earthly concerns. God grants us spiritual blessings, uh, the promises of His forgiveness, His unconditional love, His mercy, His grace, and peace He gives us. His Holy Spirit, he sent down when he left this earth and went to sit at the right hand of the Father, um, who is our helper, who gives us revelation to his word and teaches us all things. And through Jesus, God blesses us with eternal life. He promises a life made whole in a relationship with him. Even in awful moments, God blesses us with his presence so we can get through anything. God is with us in good and bad times. But it's up to us to expand our definition of being blessed beyond what society would have us believe. And when we do, God reveals his kingdom and himself to us in every moment of every day. Let's pray. Father God, thank you. Thank you for just loving us so much. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit, who is the power of you in us. Thank you, Lord, for loving us and providing everything we need. We are victorious because of what you did for us. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit again. He is the cure. He is the cure for loneliness, insecurity, fear, anxiety, because greater is he that is in me and us than he that is in the word. And that's one of our scriptures, 1 John 4, 4. I just speak that over you right now in Jesus' name. We know that all your promises are yes and amen, Lord, uh, to him that believes. So let our hearts be open and available to use us in any way you want. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Let's get started. Here we go. Okay, we're going to start with rope climbing. Do 10 of those and lift up and try and slowly Allow yourself to go down. Two. Good job. And this is the day that the Lord hath made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. And that's Psalm. Remember what Psalm is? It's Psalm 118, 24. That is such a beautiful, beautiful psalm. Keep going. We have four more. And our core scripture for be fit for Christ is 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom is from God? Okay, let's start with crunches. Uh, and you are not your own, but you are bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, because they're God's. Okay, we're going to go quickly through all of our scriptures, and I'm going to see what I remember. So I know the first one is Proverbs 3, 5 through 8. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understandings. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil, for this will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Okay, Proverbs 24, 16, for the righteous fall seven times and rise again. And we have Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And then we have uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. We've got Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, 
and hold two, and all these things will be added unto you. Hold for five, good job. And then we have Matthew 7, 7. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door will be answered. Oh, that's beautiful. And then we have the last one, week one. Is, um, and this is such a powerful one, guys. Isaiah 40, 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. We have a few more. I don't believe we did 50 yet. And then um, after our next 50, we're going to do 40, 40 Russian twists. And it's okay if you do 20 and 20. That's okay. And um, let's uh, add the 10 from the first row of climbing. So we have another 50, and then we'll be at 200. Hold, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go up for 50, and we're going to do our second week of scriptures. And our first one is Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And Romans 11, 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. 2 Timothy 1, 7. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And 1 John 4, 4, which I said in the beginning, 1 John 4, 4 is, Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Ooh, that's so beautiful. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Hold, two, three, four, five, and the last one in week two is James 4, 7. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Awesome. Good job, guys. Okay, here we go. Ready? It's time for and these really hurt, but they're so good. For the Russian twist, let's go. We're gonna do 20. Rest for one moment, and then we'll do 20 more. You can do it. Breathe. Come on. It's 20. And we're gonna start on our third week of scriptures, and it's John 3:16, one of my favorites. And one I really want you to know, if there was any one scripture that I would want you to know, it's this one. You're going to need this later on. Here we go. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. Nice. Come on, you can do it. Whew. And we're going to be at 200. Next, um, we're going to do knee to elbow. And I will say the rest of week three. Okay, we did it. Okay, so we're going to do 25 on each side and ready, go. Uh, let's see. Our week three, uh, the rest of them is John 14, 6. Is I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And then we have Romans 3.23. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And why we need to say that? <laughs> we were born and bent to sin. We have a sin nature. And we can't do anything to make it right with God. That's why we need um, Jesus to intercede for us. And because he died on the cross and then rose from the dead on the third day, he is our salvation for the whole world. And, like I said, we can't do anything to make our with God except for trust Jesus as our Savior. Okay, Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love him, to those who are called according to his purpose. In Philippians 4, 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, 
with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And the last one is, um, let's see, make sure, oh no, I have two more. Romans 12, 2 is, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that which... So you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And then we have Genesis 1-1. One, one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We're going to hold, we have five more, and then we're going to go to our plane right away and do Psalm 23. Here we go. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Are you ready? And then afterwards, we're going to do 50 mountain climbers and 25 twists. And Psalm 23 is, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You go to prepare for a table before me in front of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Five, four, three, two, one. We are at 300. Let's go, guys. We can do it. Good job. And twist and hold. Twist and hold. Twist and hold. Breathe. Five. You can do it. I know you can. We're getting stronger each day. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. We're halfway there. Fifteen. Ten more. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 25 more, count down 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, Woo! good job, stretch out for a minute, oh, take a couple of deep breaths, nice job guys, oh my gosh, oh, we're at 375, I'm going to do 25 of these just to get up to 400. Oh, okay. And we're going to do our bicycles for 100. And then we are done. Keep going. Stretch. Stretch and make sure you're drinking lots of water. Oh, it's so important to stay hydrated. And then also after this, or before this workout, Make sure you're getting your heart rate up. Do the HIIT training, the high intensity uh, training, which is you do like four minutes on a bike, you know, where you're going pretty fast, and then one minute as fast as you can go. And then repeat that five or six times, or however, even if you can only do one HIIT, it's good. Keep going. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, good job. We're gonna do our bicycles for 100 and I'm gonna finish up with the last week of scriptures. And then, I'm thinking next week I'm probably gonna add a few more scriptures. Uh, challenge myself and then really work on, I know Psalm 1, I know Psalm 23, but I still do not know Psalm 91. So, it's really important to me. I really wanna learn that the whole thing. I know it by heart. So. Galatians 2.20, and this is the fourth week, and I believe there's only um, four of them because we did, you know, three weeks of seven and each, and it was 21, and then four more was 25. Okay, <laughs> I'm just making sure I'm not terrible at math, but that's okay. Uh, Galatians 2.20, it says, 
I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live in faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Whew, I'm almost halfway there. Look at that going. And John 10.10, 10, the thief comes, but only steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come to give them life, and life more abundantly. In Isaiah 54, 13, all your children will be taught of the Lord, and great will be the peace of your children. And Luke 38, no, 6, 38, give, and it shall be given, good measured, pressed down, shaken together, and running over your bosom. For with the same, for with the same measure that you use, it shall be measured back to you. All right, you know, I have 20 more, and we are all, all done. You can check it off. Day 32 already. I'm so proud of you guys. For you're sticking with me. Yes. Okay, and again, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give you peace. I want you to learn that one too. Remember, it's number six. 24 and 25, 26. All right, Jane De La Cruz signing off. Love you guys. Thanks for joining me for Tommy Testimony, day 32. See you tomorrow.